Welcome, viewers. Today we have with us uh, Preeti Narang. She is an IT professional from California, and she is also a writer and a poet. So today we will get to know a little more about her, a little peek into her life. So welcome, Preeti. Thank you. Thank you so much, Rajkumar. Yeah. So uh, Preeti, tell me a little about yourself. I know you are an IT professional and uh, you are a poet and a writer but i want a little more details there okay so yeah mm -hmm. i am an it professional i have been in this profession for the past 18 years yeah, and uh, as per my hobbies i always love writing so yes i write i i have my poems all there i do mm -hmm. paint as well and mm -hmm. i travel a lot mm -hmm. and um, i have a you know classical singing background as well <laughs> So, okay. yeah, so I learned classical singing for three years too. So I do quite a lot of things. I, you know, type one row, work out, quite a lot of hobbies I have. So writing is one of those. Okay. So I, what I want to know is that uh, I wanted to know a little about uh, your background. Like you were an Indian. So you're born and brought up there? California? I born, no, I am born and brought up in India. I moved okay. to the US um, eight years ago. Uh -huh. Achha. In concern with your job or? Yes. Okay. And uh, where are you working presently? I work for the state of California. Achha. So uh, amid all the things that you told me that you do, that's quite a handful. So how do you manage all these works with like with the office? The writing, the painting, the taekwondo, the <laughs> classical singing? How do you well, manage that? It's like you have to prioritize what you want to do. You know, um, mm. I I have I have a schedule set up for me that okay, this is what mm. I have to do in this time frame. I have mm. to if I have to work out, I have to work out, no matter what. Mm. My job is there, so those time is that time is only for my job. So then I have mm. my own schedule, and then sometimes when you when you write, when like sometimes it's like. Suppose, for example, when I was writing um, for my first draft, so I had to stop apart from only job. I, of course, job pays my bills, so I have to mm. have a job. <laughs> but mm. and then jo so I was only focusing on job and writing, you know, mm. but uh, otherwise, uh, when I am not into that uh, mode of uh, writing a full book or something, but so I keep managing. Um, of course, my workout is my important. So job and workout, they go daily. They have to be daily. But mm. rest everything, it, it mm. is like I have to prioritize. Sometimes when mm. I pick up a painting, then I focus on that painting for a month and then finish it and move on to something else. And then okay. when I write, so I focus on my book, nothing, you know, then mm. it's like everything else uh, is at the backstage. And then I mm. keep things like this. So it's like I keep prioritizing. So isn't it uh, quite a this thing uh, tough thing to do? What do you think? Like, I'm, where does the family go then? Where's your personal time? Uh, okay, so so mm -hmm. I I am single, so I do mm -hmm. yeah, so I don't have a lot of responsibilities or something. But yes, mm -hmm. uh, so I devote my time to hobbies and I devote my time to my work and all those things. Okay, okay. So tell me, how did writing happen? Since we'll be talking about your book, so I'll focus, I'll begin with that thing. How did writing happen? How old were you when you big, wrote your first, uh, maybe an article or a poem or anything? It can be anything. My first? Uh, mm. Well, so I I think I would say I have always had my journal. So mm. I started my journal maybe in college. Mm. That would be like, what, 2000? Yeah, mm -hmm. so it's like, so maybe I, I started writing that time. I used to have my mm -hmm. own diary and I used to, mm -hmm. I used to have my poetry or whatever. I So it's, it, my journal is like whatever I'm feeling, whatever, whatever I'm feeling at that point of time can be okay. happy, can be sad. So mm -hmm. it, it just helps me get out of things. So I have been keeping that. So that's, that was my personal stuff. I never wrote. Mm -hmm. I never wrote professionally. I never wrote, but yeah. And when I started, but I used to compete sometimes in few things, like maybe in college mm -hmm. or even in um, even in uh, my job. 
even job uh, so they give you some uh, some opportunities you know they just for mm. fun so yeah i used to, used to participate there as well sometimes mm. but but then, yeah you never thought of like bringing out a book like no. you said you to write poems and all yeah. never 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 okay. just, so how did huh, tell me yeah. this just happened you know when i learned okay. about the story because my book is all about a true story so when i learned mm. about that it was just like mm. you know i have to write it so mm. it, i took a while it took me a while to start you know mm. I, i kept thinking but it took me a while to start so i literally took quite some time and but I, when i started then i started mm. and i just finished it so mm. yeah when- not in my hmm. <laughs> let's say i should say it was not on my to do list to be an Achha. author <laughs> it just happened <laughs> it just happened so uh, when when did it happen the book came out in 2020 yes. but uh, before that i am sure uh, the story you must have come across the person you must have come across right. before that right so yes hmm. i came across the story in 2015 but okay. i did, so i did some research in 2015 i did i mm. did some i wanted to write so i started researching uh, you know mm. how is this book market how does this really work you know i don't know mm. i'm an it person right i know mm-hmm. nothing so i started researching about the market mm. and i started researching how to write a book and then i did some trainings but but then but i couldn't i didn't write at that point of time then i did start with some blogs that hey let's start with some blogs and then mm. next year i again i didn't write the book but i created my website you mm. know i have an author website and i added mm. some blogs in there next mm. year again i did not write but mm. <laughs> so it actually happened in 2018 when i started mm. writing so mm. that 2018 may 2018 it's just you know it just happened uh you know I'll say some things are meant to happen so there is a real a right time to happen and um mm-hmm. uh, so you if you want to hear the story I'll tell you that Yeah story. yeah 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 you want to hear that So so in 2015 when I was researching about everything um I had enrolled in some some trainings as I say you know so I was following those authors so I used to get some articles and mm-hmm. same similar, similar way i was looking for some courses from stanford okay so i had enrolled in that their uh, you know magazines and their um, their uh, quarterly courses and all but okay. means i used to get those pamphlets but i never read that never 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 read anything so okay. in 2018 may some it's just like you know i was i was a little like sitting idle at work i was like mm-hmm. okay a little slow day so mm-hmm. that email came from stanford um, and you know and they had a list of courses so i just started exploring i okay. was like okay let's explore and then finally i found one course which i was like you know what that sounds mm-hmm. interesting <laughs> okay I think i should do it so mm-hmm. so yeah so i just enrolled in that and that was like um, novel writing in 30 days so it's okay it's like, they push you they, it's like it's not that they tell you what to do it's like it's a goal it's like mm-hmm. they, they help you to make your goal and they push you to write every day so it's like you mm-hmm. have to focus on those words every day create your goal so the actual goal was 80000 words in that 30 okay. days but i okay. created my own goal as per my job and everything so i created my goal for 50000 and mm-hmm. i was writing 1200 words a day Mm-hmm. something like that so i kept on focusing on my target and mm-hmm. so yeah so i create i wrote and wrote and wrote so i did you know create my zero draft they call it a zero draft you know just right mm-hmm. just right create mm-hmm. a target mm-hmm. and just right that's mm-hmm. how that's how it happens <laughs> mm-hmm. you know i so and wrote and do it so that was the story you wrote or it was just random writings no 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 i wrote this, the right the story the, yes the story okay So I started. Okay. It's not, of course, my book is longer than fifty thousand. But uh, mm. I, uh, in those fifty thousand, I, in that one month, I wrote whatever I could. So mm. yeah. So yeah. Then that was the, it's that was the that was the beginning. Yes. Yeah. Then what happened after that? So after that, I did take a break. I was like, mm. okay. 
I have been writing mm -hmm. for a month. I took a little break mm -hmm. and I started researching. Mm -hmm. Researching in the sense that I started researching other books. I mm -hmm. was reading lots and lots of other authors' books in the same genre because it's a romance mystery. So I was mm -hmm. focusing on romance books as well as the mystery books. So I was trying because I had to combine those two. So I was mm -hmm. just trying to understand how other mm -hmm. authors mm -hmm. write and how did how uh, how is the response they get. So okay. I was reading their books. And then I started writing back again for my book. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And when I started writing, um, so but the first problem I faced was that I mm -hmm. was writing my first 90 pages again and again, you know, okay. because I was re-editing, I was editing, I was editing. So mm -hmm. that was not right. That was something I, I was getting stuck at. I was like, mm -hmm. oh, no, no, that's not coming out true. Okay, go back, go back, write those mm -hmm. 90 pages. So then, then you know one day i was like no that's not this is not how it should work because i am just writing first 90 pages and i'm not focusing on the rest and i should focus mm -hmm. on the story first right mm -hmm. but then just um, then again i restarted one day from scratch mm -hmm. i'm like okay no i have to mm -hmm. restart this so then then i i literally in five months i finished my first draft Okay. Only focusing on the writing, my mm. first draft, no looking back, no editing, just writing, mm. writing every day, side by side. I was researching also about what, you mm -hmm. know, what happened, when, where, why. And mm. so, yeah, it happened in really five months. I mm. just so, how much, how much does uh, reading others' books, like you said that you wrote, uh, you read books on romance and mystery because that's a mix you wanted to present. Mm -hmm. So how much reading those kind of books help? And also, doesn't it influence like your writing style? Because every author has his or her own style of writing. So it helps you. It helps mm -hmm. you understand others' authors' mm -hmm. perspective. It does mm -hmm. help you understand how readers react to it. But mm -hmm. it doesn't change my... It, it doesn't change your writing style. My writing style is mm -hmm. my writing style. When I write, mm -hmm. I will forget everything else. <laughs> you know, okay. I will not remember. I I will not remember how they write. I will remember how mm -hmm. I write. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. So that's how it works. It, it's not mm -hmm. that their writing style will affect my style. But mm -hmm. the interesting, you, you might get some good tips from their uh, stories. Like, oh, that's oh that. That, that can work this way or you know that scene can be written this way that's a good idea so you can get some okay. idea yeah okay okay yeah. so you took two years to write that book so yes so 2018 uh, i started mm -hmm. like i said in may 2018 i started and then i've been on so one month course and then i started reading other books and then started rewriting and then mm -hmm. i started from scratch so mm -hmm. yes, so, so in June 2019, my first draft was ready. Okay. So first draft was ready, and then I start. You know, I gave it to my friends and my known people to read mm -hmm. to see mm -hmm. how their reaction would be. And mm -hmm. then I was editing myself. I kept on editing myself, and then I did have some uh, a teacher help me. Uh, my okay. friend helped me with, my, with the editing. So they sent me their mm -hmm. inputs, and after all mm -hmm. the editing we did. Then I mm. hired a professional editor and mm. uh, then she sent me her edit. So it has been a course of, you know, it's a, it had been a journey of like mm. edits. So then mm. finally I released the published in March mm. 20. Yeah. So, mm. so how was it publishing the book? Publishing, uh, it was a big accomplishment. It was mm. definitely an accomplishment and, uh, mm. It'll, it'll make you feel very happy about it um mm. uh and uh, but as i self-published so self-publishing you can um, always do online amazon is very mm. it's an easy tool you can publish online so mm. i i was not looking for any publisher outside because uh, <clears throat> i heard the market was like the the publishing market and finding a publisher that was a very tough job so Mm -hmm. I, just, I was like, okay, I will go the other way around and I will just choose the self-publishing now. But don't you think that uh, having a like a reputed publisher, any anything like Hopper or Penguin, or there are so many these days, because that takes up a major part of an author's uh, work, no? So don't you think that having a professional publisher to publish your books would help? 
it will help. help it can help but you know what yeah. uh, it can help but it's not it's not easy to reach there you know it, they okay. don't take they don't take anybody's story like this you know they have <laughs> they have a lot of people uh, reaching out to them right so yeah. Yeah. I, i did try that but it's it's not yeah. it out so you okay. have to really know people you really have to know the market i know nobody so i am yeah. like no, you didn't have a very good experience with the publishers i i knew no one so i i was like yeah. okay, what do i do <laughs> mm. i i tried a little bit but no it mm. didn't it didn't work so i just mm. went on to my self publishing and um, okay yeah that was okay. my route and if you really look at it the market is actually moving towards self publishing especially huh. in, true it's especially true. here in us yeah huh. it's like here here is the benefit of self publishing when you go with traditional publisher you only get 10% mm. of the royalties but mm. in self publishing you get 60 70% so mm. it, but of course you, but you have to market yourself you have to mm. do everything yourself but mm. it, it, this is another route so there mm. are pros and cons to both but mm. you can choose your route your way but yeah. you know don't you find it exhausting first so, writing the book and then publishing it and then marketing it i i i will be honest i don't i don't i don't i won't say that uh, writing was exhausting marketing is exhausting hmm. i don't like marketing okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> true marketing is exhausting it is exhausting you know writing hmm. is only 30% of the job marketing hmm. is 70% of the job true true so yeah. i'll go back to the story that you had so how tough was it uh, putting a real story down into on the paper also because you cannot write like you cannot write the entire because there are many uh, many things involved in a real life no right. so right. you obviously cannot put everything all of that down on paper right. so you have to like uh, choose what you want to write choose what is important and then you have to be true to the story also the original right. story right mm -hmm. and then i i am sure somewhere at the back of your mind you must be having uh, some concern about the person whose story you were writing mm -hmm. right no, even if the entire world doesn't know whose story it is but the person would know it is my story right so how 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 tough was it so of course as you said it's a see when you write somebody's story and when it's the day to day life is very different than how you write it in the book mm -hmm. because you ha it's like you have to cover everything in 260 pages or something it's mm. it's it's not you cannot have day by day story it will mm. be first of all it will be very boring you boring. have you have to have an interest you have to keep mm. it emotional you have to keep it interesting for the reader to mm. read right mm. so mm. i had to merge first of all i had to pick up what is important what is not important right so mm. you have to pick mm. those incidents that hey this is important mm. this this is what that can go away no that's not going in the story that is going in the story that's not going in the story so the first of all it the important things you have to mm. pick up mm. then it is like you have to merge like mm. it's like you say let's say one incident is important from today but the other incident is important from tomorrow and mm. and and the other days but is like to make it a scene i have to you know uh, merge them together so mm -hmm. to make it one scene i can have mm -hmm. I, what i did was like four days combined into one right and mm -hmm. then make it one mm -hmm. scene out of it or mm -hmm. something some things happened over the phone that i made face to face or something happened uh, you know face to face that went over the phone so it is like those kind of combination i have to do to make it interesting mm -hmm. keep it real to keep it mm -hmm. keep everything uh, emotional interesting so that it, it is a story that people should read that's mm. the whole purpose right so it's i don't want i didn't want it to be boring at any point mm. so mm. it to keep that interest you have to do all that so it was tough kind of <laughs> kind of yes it, it is mm. a little bit yes definitely mm. you know you have you have to keep thinking all through all, all throughout but Hmm. it can be done it's mm -hmm. not yeah yeah that that's true nothing is impossible yeah, but then impossible. Uh, it it is exhausting yeah huh? right and what about the name 
how did you come upon this name the prodigal love name so name um so prodigal is prodigal love is actually excessive love so an excessive love and then a question mark right so my whole purpose of this like is because this is a romance mystery it's not all about just love it's not all about just love it's mystery but that's mm-hmm. why there is a question mark there which is very important to show hey this is something this this is mm-hmm. you need to figure it out this is mm-hmm. not is it? <laughs> that's excessive love this is something yeah. else right yeah. so that's how i came up with this uh, with the with the name and mm-hmm. and the other thing i would tell you i was reading prodigal daughter mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. from jeffrey archer and then mm-hmm. that that strike me okay that works okay. okay i can figure that out so that's why i gave that name you know okay from that as yes okay and uh, without uh, getting out the story i want to know why did you give the ending that you gave why did i give the ending i gave because i thought that is the right ending to give it's i didn't mm-hmm. want to i so as it is a true story i didn't want to change mm. any reality i didn't want to write mm. any anything uh, you know uh, happily ever after yeah no 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 happy ever after it's, it's a true story it, it, there is another it's not always a happy ever after you know so, <laughs> so i i i just didn't want to you know i mm. have i i i did receive lots of you know especially mm. for especially for americans here they believe mm-hmm. they are like happy ending happy ending happy ending i'm like hold on we are indians okay mm-hmm. in india mm-hmm. it's not always a happy ending you know it's not mm-hmm. it's not an american story this is an indian story so yeah i have to i have to be true to the story mm-hmm. so that's why mm-hmm. i gave the ending it it has mm-hmm. okay so and what tell me about your poems so poems in the sense um, what what so do you the, write on i i read a couple of them on your blog okay so uh-huh. it can be anything whatever strikes me you know some day mm. i was uh, one day i was just uh, you know as i travel a lot so i was on a beach and all of a sudden something struck me like and when we were in covid <clears throat> you mm. know we were in lockdown and we couldn't go out but then somehow uh, you know we and so we used to look for places where there will be less people like i mm-hmm. i mainly travel to national parks and beaches where there are less people i uh, you know mm-hmm. avoid the crowd so we were just mm-hmm. looking at, so i went out with friends on a beach and i just was you know sitting there and like oh yeah mm-hmm. you know jaane kahan gaye wo din Mm-hmm. so it's like you know you're sitting you know this beach used to be so fun and you know there used mm-hmm. to be crowd here now they, we are running away from people now things have changed so much during covid and that's why mm-hmm. then i was like so jane ka that one sentence came and then the rest i keep adding you know that one or two lines first lines they come you know we just come they just come mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. so, so- I, that's how i start writing okay so the poem is uh, like like a book is written over a period of months uh, are your poems also they also take time or you like many people are like they'll write an, in an instant they'll sit yeah. and write a poem that's how you write one hour 1 hour 2 hour done hmm. that's done. all yeah. okay okay yeah. are you okay are you planning to bring out a book on poems on your poetry i have not thought about it maybe mm-hmm. once i have a lot of poems i might but mm-hmm. uh, i i have mm-hmm. not thought about it yes yeah yes no. okay oh, okay any other book you are into writing these days if you yes do you plan I to am, yes um mm-hmm. i am planning to write something on you know whatever has been happening to us on the pa- for the past 3 years you know we have been mm-hmm. going you know this covid and everything and whatever and you know what everybody has gone through and you know how it's like how do you how do you find a new normal you know we have to look for a new normal mm. of course it has affected mm. everybody in a one way or mm. the other and we you know looking mm. for a new normal and then you know the devastation that has happened and so mm. yeah I'm, i'm trying to focus on so like it's it will be a fiction or a reality story or a reality fiction yeah i think reality fiction it will be yeah. 
okay so any any uh, time frame you have that this is the time that you will come out with it i really want to finish that this year mm -hmm. so fingers crossed okay. um, yeah but we will see as i said you know, if, you know mm -hmm. um, rajkumari ji it's like life mm -hmm. life happens you know mm -hmm. it's something and then you get something else can happen you know mm -hmm. so yes my i want to focus on it but if something mm -hmm. my life has some other direction for me i don't know <laughs> so, <laughs> true yes true. so yes so uh, so these days you are writing the book so tell me you should you like you have you must be having an 8 hour job or maybe right. 9 or 10 hours i don't know yeah, uh, yeah. how do you find uh, how do you find time when do you write i write in the evening normally yes or at night okay. however i mm. can fit my schedule not in the morning that's my job mm. time and then mm. um, but yeah evening or night mostly that's hmm. and do you have a specific uh, space to write many people have their own like this corner i'll sit and write many people have that many I, writers have that just my desk is fine for hmm. me hmm. <laughs> that's fine yeah. because one writer i know she goes to a park she says i can't write at home or at office so she like she's a regular at her park in the evening and she'll sit there and write you are happy with your I'm, desk yeah i am happy with my home i have mm -hmm. i have no disturbance at my home i love being mm -hmm. at my home i have a wonderful mm -hmm. desk and i'm fine with it okay okay so uh, 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 do you have any favorite authors yeah jeffrey archer is definitely one of those i really mm -hmm. like reading his books jane austen mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. then i i do love all sherlock holmes you know <laughs> any indian indian authors indian authors um, i i do like sudha murthy yeah okay. so yeah as a person as an author i just like that lady she's very nice so uh, i know she's and she's from your field she's your <laughs> senior also <laughs> yeah well, she's a sweet woman she's a sweet yeah. woman yeah. and and uh, is there any favorite book you have favorite book um mm -hmm. the uh, i think i really like the jeffrey archer's uh, pen, not a penny more not a penny less okay so that's a, that's a really good what one what is it that uh, attracts you to that book most uh, the story and the way of writing i i mm. i said you know jeffrey archer's way, way of writing i love that it's like mm. you know you can connect to it you can quickly mm. read it and it's like mm. you know, finish that book and you are, mm. you are attached to it and you keep reading you know interest mm. Mm. so it's i like that so and that story is so cute and wonderful so okay okay so as an author uh, what is the uh, most uh, your most favorite part of a book the climax it's okay <laughs> okay <laughs> so many authors they write climax first and then they uh, weave the story uh, with that climax mm -hmm. what do you do well i start with the beginning and then mm. the the middle part definitely gets a little boring for me so then yeah. i write the ending and then i okay. come to the middle <laughs> so okay that's that's okay. how normally it works for me <laughs> okay so you like uh, climaxes which are uh, totally like uh, upside down or the climaxes that go with the story no upside down okay <laughs> <laughs> why that gives a shock total, value to you a total mystery i, I love mysteries i like i'm like okay <laughs> thrillers uh -huh. give me thrillers give me mystery yeah that's how it is okay 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 <laughs> so you have been into the reading habit uh, since your childhood yes yeah now that's what since childhood i have been reading thrillers mysteries mm, okay, <laughs> so, okay that's why so these days how many hours uh, how, how much time do you devote to reading and how much of uh, reading would help uh, like if you want to tell a new author somebody who wants to write a book the first book you're already in uh, an older author now <laughs> with two books behind you Right. a hindi english and the hindi version right. so what would you tell a new person upcoming so 
see it's it's all about your habit and how comfortable you are you can read mm. you can you can start writing after reading one book also you can start but mm. i would suggest read at least you know few books uh, five to 10 books you know it will mm. help you understand more about the writing uh, writing and the more more about the author's way of writing the more about the um, audience you you will mm. have so yeah read at least five to 10 books in your genre mm. which you are writing the focus mm. on that Uh, mm. and then you start writing mm. and uh, so, for me i i keep it means it's not that i read regularly and daily it's like whenever i i catch a good book i i read it okay. so okay. that's how you know some books are interesting for me so i pick that up and i'm like okay i'm reading this so mm. yeah one book at a time is it one book at a yeah, time yeah one book at a time yeah mm. like i i pick up many books at a time and i keep <laughs> shifting between those no i, because, I yeah one book for me one book okay. for me otherwise i will just leave that book and move on to the next one <laughs> okay okay and have you ever suffered from a writer's block yes yes definitely writer's blocks happen it's normal mm. and mm. Uh, for me um, i like taking a break when it happens mm. so mm. I, i as i said i have lots of other hobbies so i can focus on something else and mm. i take that break maybe mm. one or two day or you know a few more days but it's like you have to have that discipline to come back mm. so it's it's not you cannot delay so that discipline mm. is very important so once i'm into mm. writing i have to come back so i know mm. i have to come back so even if after a bit, after i take a break i'll come back to that writing mm. and i mm. so ever suffered with like loss of words to write like you have some th- thought yeah. in the mind but you're not getting the exact word to write it that's right yeah that that mm-hmm. happens that happens and mm-hmm. yeah so that so you look up the dictionary do you look up the dictionary <laughs> no what do you do no, no dictionary Just it, it. Has, it has to come from heart dictionary huh. you know, dictionary will give you the meaning or whatever huh. but Mm. no it's not dictionary it's it's mm. just that sometimes when i am you know just in my state of mind and those thoughts all automatically they, that block comes goes away and it comes the ideas okay. keep coming you know every every step of the way every day in your life i get ideas mm. you know i'm mm. like i am constant even a small conversation can give you an mm. idea with anybody mm. uh uh a, a, a tv show can give you an idea a song can give you an idea lyrics mm. listen to the lyrics and you're like Oh, that's you know that's a good line you know that's that's mm. how it can do. so anything mm. can give you a good idea and i keep writing mm. so i have my note okay. like writing on my phone my notes are always on my phone and i, I whenever okay. i get that idea i am on i keep i keep it with me so okay. even if even if i don't use it today i might use it tomorrow you know you never mm. know so mm. these ideas keep coming and mm. of course when you are at loss of words it it comes back to you later that no mm. that's yeah you can rewrite and just go back mm. and okay then you are in that state of mind you know your mind will automatically mm. work like that mm-hmm. so you like writing uh, on your laptop or you pen and paper is what you prefer laptop laptop, laptop is good mm. yeah. okay okay so uh, now uh, preeti will talk a little more about you tell me about your classical music you learned oh, okay yeah it's been a while so actually i learned that when i was in india so okay. i was in india and i learned there for 3 years and uh, mm. but then i had to come here so it it just stopped i mm. keep you know i really really wish i could go back and i want to finish mm. my fourth year i to get a degree at least you know acha okay <laughs> you did t- from uh, some ye yeah, gandharv university or somewhere you did alabad university i think that acha okay so yeah yeah, so, yeah alam uh-huh. yeah and uh, but 3 years don't give you a degree though 4 yeah. years give you a degree and i'm like oh uh-huh. gosh i don't have i don't have that degree yet. Uh-huh. yeah so do you practice do you very, sing very very rarely i do sing i like singing uh-huh. but that uh-huh. practice is the, you know that practice of all those classical stuff is definitely gone a little yeah mm. it's mm. it doesn't happen here very much because uh, because during the pandemic uh, many things went online and one of the things was this also classical many gurus they started teaching online mm. so i was just wondering uh, have you ever thought about it 
I really wish I, if if yeah if I can find uh, somebody I will definitely mm. want to do my fourth year. It's okay. but it's like sitting in US. <clears throat> you have to work through. Uh, if you have to work from a different area, time zones. Time zones are very different, and yeah. otherwise. I was really ready to give this idea to my own teacher. Hey, so okay. come on, you must start. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and teachers. Yeah. So can I know the name of your teacher? Uh, Hima. Hima. She was in Gurgaon. So I used to be in Gurgaon. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And tell me about your painting. Is that you are a self-taught artist or you learned that somewhere? Uh, I started learning in school as a normal Achha. kid. So uh, we used to have art classes in school. So mm. I just continued over there, and mm. uh, uh, you know, the fi I took fine arts in my as an uh, the, the additional subject which you take in 11, 12. So I took that. Mm. So mm. that had been my learning um, mm. you know, area for mm. uh, painting. And then mm. after that, I have been doing it on my own. Mm. But a uh, few years ago, I did learn you know i i wanted to learn different styles of uh, painting so i did learn for two three months i did learn different styles you know mm. and, um, and that's that's my painting learning mm. so i keep doing myself rest. Mm. i saw some I, I saw some of your paintings some are sketches and all uh, one is your uncle uncle's painting you've done mm -hmm. so have you held any uh, show or do you plan to hold any exhibition of your works I would uh, wish I can, but again, mm. it's like when I when I will have a lot more. See, like right now, I have uh, mostly gifted all my paintings. I have only one for myself, okay. Okay. And that is, that is my last one, which I did was my the mm. father daughter adventure. That's the only mm. one I have in my house. Rest I have mm. gifted to everybody, you know. To okay. Them. So I don't okay. have a lot of collection. I I, mm. I do plan to do. Again, it's again, it's a future planning. You, mm. you think you want to do, but you mm. never know how. You, you never know how it will happen. What will happen and when? But yeah, that's on the plan. Yes, that's mm. one of the items mm. I would wish so, to do. Uh, which kind of art do you like to make? Like, do you like sketching? Do you like uh, acrylic on canvas, or do you like oil paints? Yeah, oil charcoal. Paint. Oil painting and relief. That's what my okay. 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 Why? So relief painting. Relief relief is a it gives you a 3D look to the painting. So it's mm -hmm. an oil painting, but with relief mm -hmm. you get you can give a 3D look. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So why oil painting? I said. Why oil painting? Um why oil painting is so I as so I started with water. Mm -hmm. I used to do a lot of water uh, watercolors mm -hmm. painting. And then mm. I slowly moved to oil, and I have been mm. oil. Um, is can water a little bit? I think I'm more into oil right now, so I will just focus on that. Um, mm. But yeah, it's not, not not any specific reason. Okay, and you're open to you take life one day as it comes. Yep. Yeah. And you're open yeah. to anything can happen, and you'll be ready for it. You have to be ready. Do you have a yes. choice? Tell me. You yeah. have. <laughs> exactly. That doesn't give you a choice to not be open to anything. You know, you just have yeah. to. Hmm. Yeah. True. Yeah. True. Anything else you would want to say to our uh, listeners, viewers? I just want to say to the people who want to be authors, just start mm. doing it right now. It's your time. Don't wait for the time to come. You know, you have mm. to have that discipline. You have to find that mm. time. Just find that time and start writing. Start writing. Mm. That that will help you achieve your goal. That discipline is very important. Prioritization mm. of work is very important. So prioritize mm. your work. Have a discipline mm. and keep mm. going. That's the first important thing you have to focus on. Rest everything you can keep doing. But that is has to come from you. Nobody else can give mm. it to you. Now, that discipline is yours and you have to be yeah yeah that's that's so true okay so i think that would be uh, enough for r now and thank you so much preeti for sharing your life with us thank and uh, we hope you come up come up with your next book uh, very soon and uh, may the publishers approach you instead of you approaching the publishers <laughs> or self-publishing the book that's not a bad idea but uh, 
I, I wish, uh, I pray that public that your book becomes so well known that publishers come to you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ashkumariji, for having yeah. me. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a good day. Yeah. yeah.